Antonio Villarreal, going live to you from Society 204. Welcome to the South Texas International Film Festival. Today's event is the 48 hour film race. And as you can see, we have a lot of awesome and amazing filmmakers, directors, and actors. We're gonna to get to know each and every one of them. And so get ready, the question and answer begins now. We're gonna start with Eli Gonzalez. Uh, Mr. Eli, can you please introduce yourself? Give us a little bit about uh, what you do, uh, your film called The Breaking Point. Hello everyone, um, Eli E. Gonzalez Jr. I am a director from the Rio Grande Valley. I am 21 and I honestly think I'm killing it. Um, the film Breaking Point was the 48 hour film race. Uh, it's like three minutes long. It's, it's intense and it is a dark themed like any other film I make. And it's like more uh, sadistic, like sadistic planning. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, we, my, me and my team had a lot of uh, fun making it. And yeah. Well, let me just tell you this. I absolutely loved your film. Uh, I watched it from beginning to end. And actually with each and every one of you guys, I, I rewinded it. And I fast forward it just to get the right questions to gauge our audience so that they can be able to, you know, get inside your guys' shoes, you know, be able to understand what goes, the, you know, what goes into making a film, what goes into creating a story, bringing something to life. So um, I got a couple of questions for you, Mr. Eli. Um, you had mentioned that there was a dark tone. I actually got that was dark tones. I felt those dark tones as I saw your film. Um, what was the... What was the artistic expression that you used to be able to come up with that story? Or what was, I, I know you told me that you were wanting to make it a dark film, but what was some of the things that uh, I guess brought you to that realization saying, you know what, I think I need to bring awareness to this or I need to create this to, you know, give the people an insight as to what happens. Uh, the inspiration for the film was like, any other kidnapping type thing, right? And I don't really know how to answer that question. Um, well, well, let me let me go off this. Uh, when I saw it, it was kind of it kind of like reminded me like of social media safety of being safe online. And uh, I guess that's what I guess one of the things that I took out of the film was you know we have to be safe out there. We have to be careful like where we're posting, who's you know our surroundings. Because in that film, I saw the, the antagonist, he was literally following, you know, one of the main characters, one of the protagonists, the characters. And the only reason he was able to find out where she was, was because, you know, Facebook stalking, social media stalking. Um, so I can say that it really touched a, a subject, uh, you know, that we deal with in today's society, you know, with social media going here and there, you know, live videos. So, you know, it brought me to that realization of, you know, being careful with what we share, you know, being, being aware of our surroundings and, you know, being nice to people, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that, that really might need a word uh, of encouragement. And I think I got that from your film. Um, I love that you leave it an open ending. Are you planning on adding to the film? Honestly, uh, I, I do actually, plan to continue this film because like the the whole 48 hours it always turns out that I never get to use the 48 hours because something comes up so like this time I was gone like going to Houston and back and stuff like that driving around uh so I only got to use like 12 to 7 hours out of the actual 48 so it always it always comes down to like what parts of the story is interesting and what parts of the story is needed to actually make make sense. And then like the open ending thing is like, I enjoy thinking about what could have happened. Like what did happen? Definitely. What did this antagonist do to that character? Who did he have in the trunk at the end? Um, you know, and like, what did he do with the sledgehammer and stuff like that? I mean, it's pretty obvious what you did with the sledgehammer, but like the, like who was in the trunk? What happened after that? Did he get caught after that? Like it's all open to the audience, like to imagine, you know? So it, it's always fun to have an open ending in a film. 
Unless yeah, it's man. like Avengers Endgame or something. <laughs> Definitely. I was looking for the end credits. <laughs> no, uh, I absolutely love that you left it open ended. It. Like you actually engaged the audience to, mm. to actually okay, think so and to actually, this shit. Um, I can't hear anything. Delve into the film, right? Uh, so I absolutely loved it. You like, I, I loved your film. And it is, can anybody find where most of your work is? Uh, there is a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, graphic Disorder Studios. That is my my team, my little company that I have going on. It's uh, a mixture of my work, my editor's work, any other person that's on the team. Uh, I have this rule: if you come up with the idea, you get to direct it. So, okay. so I've come up with ideas, I've directed ideas, and like I, everyone else on my team has done something. So. Yeah, the, the, uh, I have like four actual short films on that YouTube channel. It is Graphic Disorder Studios. It has like a, a black logo with like a white zombie looking thing. Sweet. And yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much, Martin. Um, let's go on to the next film. I want to speak to Emilia Luna, The Box. Um, hello, Emilia. Uh, I have a couple of questions for you I absolutely loved your film um it kind of gets you thinking in a sense and, and I absolutely love that uh the film is called The Box and so uh my question would be to you is I absolutely loved your message um what was something that moved you to make this short what was something that moved you because I, I felt a lot of it was like I guess a battle, an inner battle that we all face in a sense, getting out of the box, getting out of that man-made box that, you know, society, our friends, or even ourselves put ourselves into. So uh, what was it that uh, made it motivated you to make this short, this story? Emilia Luna, the box? Yes, so I'm sorry. I didn't realize that my mic was on mute. Uh, <laughs> So I was actually motivated to uh, like make the box through like my own personal, like, I guess like self little journey. Um, I've always been someone who's like had a routine, like ever since I was a kid, I was always up like at five in the morning, um, had to go to school, like everything was like planned out for me. I never really had a thought to myself until like I went away to college and when I went away to college, it was like my first time not having something like on the schedule. And my brain was like, well, what am I supposed to do next? Why, why do I have all this free time? And um, it just kind of like made me realize like how small my world was. And it was a very like, uh, very anxious experience for me. And it is still something that I'm going through. Um, but I did this film race to kind of get me out of that box in a way. So wow. that was like the motivation behind it. Well, it's powerful and it's beautiful. Let me tell you that. And I absolutely loved it. A lot of people can relate with this short. Um, I guess you've already mentioned what uh, effort, what heart you put into it, what it means to you to create this and to manifest this, especially with a film festival. And I just want to say, I loved your film and you did an amazing job. Uh, and I love it. And one, what's one message that you can give to people that are still trying to find themselves, that are still trying to get out of that box, that are that are still trying to find who they are in this world? I know you mentioned that you're still trying to. We all are, right? Yeah. <laughs> but what is what is one word of advice that you said? You know what? I got motivated. I'm going to do this film. I'm going to do it. So, what is something that you can give to the audience, to the people looking out there? Mm -hmm that change starts from within. You have to really want to get yourself out of it um, in order to do it. You can't, expel, you can't expect someone to save you and get you out. You have to do it yourself. Um, and of course, life is short and you never know what uh, tomorrow will bring. I absolutely love that. Very beautiful, very powerful. If I may ask, do you plan to continue to make more films? Is this yeah. something that you love? Is like, do you plan on continuing making more films, submitting? Yes, I I fell in love with um filming, uh, 
like towards the later years of my uh, first time around in college and now I'm my second degree seeking and my main focus is on films and trying to um, write more. I actually quit my job so I could focus on this. Um, so yes, there will definitely be more hopefully in the future. I love it. Uh, I absolutely love it. I know you're going to do amazing. You're going to do great. If I may ask, uh, where can the people find you, find your work so that we may continue to support each and you and everyone else around here? At the moment, I don't have anything up. I'm slowly building up my um, platform as I go. Okay. But um, eventually it'll be out there and I'll have it posted. <laughs> All right. Keep us posted. We're definitely on the lookout. Thank you so much. The box is beautifully made. It was an artistic film. I loved it. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, the next film that we, all of these, first of all, to the live audience, all of these films were beautifully and wonderfully made. Each one had a distinctive style, a distinctive look. And I love each and every one of you. I hope each and every one of them. I hope you guys, the audience that watched the films, actually learned, connected with the local talent here in the Rio Grande Valley. And, you know, viewers from the nation, from internationally, get to know what our talent down here is, what our filmmakers are, what we can provide. And I'm so grateful and honored. Thank you so much. Uh, the next one uh, that I want to speak to me was, may the force be with you, but not on this, not this time, not on this one. I absolutely love that one. And Mr. Jesus Castellanos? Hi. Jesse Castellanos? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. I, I absolutely loved your film. Silvia Vera. Hello. Uh, can you say it again? Silvia Vera. Mucho gusto, Silvia Vera and Jesus Castellanos. I loved your guys' film. I especially loved that it was Star Wars themed. It was awesome. It was beautiful. I loved the comedic banter between characters, between each and every one of the film. Y'all definitely brought in a, a, something that the audience can relate to in an everyday, especially the fans, right? I think that's what, I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Were you guys targeting the fan base, like the, the fanatics? Not the fan base, but let's just say the fanatics in general towards anything. It could be Star Wars. It can be, you know, Marvel, DC. Okay, uh, definitely, but specifically the collectors. Specifically the collectors. Uh, yeah, I love it. That, that just obsessed with like the action figures. Uh -huh. Just like, like while we were writing, I did like I do. I love Star Wars since I was a child, but I didn't understand like the the whole point of it until he actually was like, no, 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 just like the way you saw it. It was kind of like a real conversation. Here. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, so I love the whole uh, group, the whole community thing. What was, the, I guess, what was the inspiration behind the story behind this collector's item? I, I you guys are doing a yard sale. And uh, I, I guess it's your wife, fiance, girlfriend, she sells the wrong one. So what was that? Uh, was, it, was it based on an experience that you felt before maybe or that you experienced while doing a collective item? No, but I'm going to tell you, it's based on an experience I never want to have. <laughs> oh, yeah. I there never you go. want my it's a warning. <laughs> sold like accidentally. So no. Uh, <laughs> there you go, collectors out there. Warning to all you out there. So I out there, check what you got before you sell it, all right? <laughs> I actually, uh, a fun fact is that he actually has both of the Grogu's. And oh. one of them is like whatever the variant. Thing is, the variant. Uh -huh. So <laughs> as we were talking with the film race and getting the story done, uh, well, it came up like that, you know, like- I was, love that. You, well, I, you, you know, ideas come from our passions and from what we love and i absolutely love this idea it was beautifully and wonderfully made wonderfully acted um i love that you guys actually uh, maybe you guys gave an illusion to i guess it was your channel your your, your movie channel i love that there was another there, there was a scene there it was like a star wars scene recreation that you guys did a movie so let me touch on that real quick um yeah i I just wanted to like throw in a line there, but I didn't actually think that she would make the decision actually to include it. And I'm like, okay, so it doesn't look so self-serving, like, oh, look at something else we did. I said, fine, like, we'll, we'll put it in there. She wanted to like specifically show like, you know, the other, an original Star Wars short film there. But I said, if we're gonna do it, I'm gonna roast the hell out of myself. 
So that's when Francisco said, this short film sucks. <laughs> and I'm, well, I was, I, I'm like, absolutely it does. No, no way. I absolutely loved it. And I love how you guys cleverly put it in there. Like, you know, that I think that's a way that all directors, in a sense, can take something from that, you know? Like, you know, this is our work. This is our passion. These are our creations, you know? And we have to find a way to make people see them, whether it be through social media posting, whether it be through our films, whether it be through our creativity. And I absolutely loved how you guys were creative and put that together. I loved it. It didn't seem like the way you had mentioned it all, not, not self-serving at all. It was creatively put in there and I absolutely loved it. It went with the film. Um, it was absolutely perfect and I loved it. Um, one more question for you guys was, I love the comedic angle between you guys and, and between the banter, the, the comedic angle and the banter. How long did it take you guys to get into that swing, into that motion? into that feel and that groove. Like to be able to go back and forth. I, I saw that connection and I loved it. You mean, uh, oh, between us? Us? Yeah, you guys, uh, I mean, the and whole the, cast. The there, it was like, ah, like yeah. it. Okay, okay. Uh, no, nah, that was pretty quick. Like, um, well, cause we also like, we know each other. And two, it's, um, how do I put it? It's really easy for me to talk some S-I-H-I-T really quick, so. <laughs> You know, arguing and just it's doing true. that real quick. It is true. Like with everybody, it's, it's like it's like okay, you guys ready? I'm just blah, 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 blah. perfect. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm sure the audience loved it. I'm sure the Star Wars fans loved it. The fanatics loved it. I love that. I'm a fanatic of something. I'm not going to say what. I'm just kidding. But uh, I absolutely loved it. Is there somewhere where we can find your work? Um, okay, so let me, for, for that one, if you want to see the original Star Wars short film, just YouTube Jesse Castellanos. Um, and then if you want to see more of Sylvia's work, and a lot of times we do do work together, you can find it at... Girandova. Girandova, like Girando with the G. Is that the G okay. or G? G. G. Uh -huh. yeah. Girandova. Okay. <laughs> or on our Facebook pages, uh, pages. We both have a Facebook page. So he has Jesse Castellanos and I have Silvia Vera. So. And we actually do upload our short films there. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I love the film. Uh, keep creating. Keep making amazing work. Uh, going off of that, we have a question from the live audience uh, from Flower. She asks, can you all post and mention your social media handles? So if you can post them or write them down, that way the audience can follow you and support you. Uh, let's keep it going. Uh, we have Payday, Emilio Lozano. Yes. Hello. Hey. Hello, Hello, Emilio. I absolutely loved your film. Um, I love the creative approach. It reminded me of a Tarantino film. It gave me those Tarantino vibes. Like, yeah. I, I love that. Can you give me, can you get, can you tell the audience? Uh, what creative, what sparked that creativity? What sparked that uh, that vibe, in a sense? Um, well, I mean, I love uh, gangster films. I like violent movies. Uh, Tarantino is like a huge staple. So I guess I put a little bit of that in there. And I put a little bit of Barry. That's a show I like binge watched like a month ago. So I was trying to make something like that, like a just a little low budget crime movie with like some humor and a little bit of violence and just put all the elements that were required for the film. So, yeah. Absolutely loved it. I loved it. Um, it definitely gave me uh, that gangster vibe, that, that, that mobster vibe. And, and I loved it. I loved how you uh, choreographed and set the film, even the music, the sound effects, everything was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, do you plan to continue the story? Uh, the story, you know, uh, that's a good question. I haven't thought about it, but uh, I got into this whole project because Roel Salinas, the actor, he's the one who brought up like the project. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this right now. Uh, but yeah, I've worked with two movies with him already. And I think he's a very great talent that is pretty underrated. So I want to do more stuff with him and maybe we can actually explore this character who's like a hitman and what Perfect. his like story is. I mean, that's what it that's what I, I got. Like, I wanted to see more, like, what was going to happen? What, what happens to this guy after, after this scene? So yeah. I absolutely love that. Uh, I love how you brought that together. Uh, where can we see some more of your work? Uh, my work? Uh, or you have, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I have a YouTube channel. It is called, here, one moment. 
It's just called Emilio Q's channel on YouTube. Uh, that's where I posted like one short film and more short films will be on that channel soon. Awesome. Uh, is it all right if you can write that down in the chat? That way people who might not have heard it can actually uh, find you and research you. And uh, one more question uh, before we move on to the next film, Mr. Emilio. Mr. Emilio. Um, you had mentioned you have done other work. Uh, what can you tell us about, well, let's just talk about this. What can you tell us about uh, Payday? Uh, how, how was the filming process? How long did it take you to film and, and edit? Um, the goal is just to make something as soon as possible. So we didn't really have a script. Uh, most of it was improv. Uh, when Roel came on, uh, we were, before we started shoot, shooting, we just like, we're kind of hungry. Let's go get something to eat. And like right next door, like that hotel, we didn't plan to shoot there. We just drove by him. He was like, that's our, that's our location. So we shot like that bit for a little bit, uh, but we just tried to get everything done like as soon as possible and just make something that could be entertaining. Absolutely loved it. Thank you so much. Keep creating, keep making an amazing work. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next one would be The Perfect Plan with Joe Castro or The Perfect Plan, the film? <laughs> the Perfect Plan. Okay, let's keep, let's skip it for now. Let's do help. Julio Gonzalez, help. Hola, Julio. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Bien, presente aquí. Thank you very much. Mucho gusto, I'm mucho here. gusto. Uh, como sabes, yo, yo estuve en tu film, El Help. Uh, si puedo preguntar, uh, ¿qué es la idea o qué es la, la, la idea que, que te dio para poder hacer este film? ¿Qué, qué es lo, la, la creatividad que usaste para poder traer esta historia junta? Bueno, pues... Uh... Siempre trato de, de transmitir un mensaje en, en las historias que, que decido contar. Y en este en especial, realmente no tuvimos mucho tiempo en, en planearla. Y fue una historia que, que nació esa misma noche. Estábamos después del, de la junta que nos dieron los, los elementos. Esa misma noche estuvimos platicando entre Gracie, Jesús Benavides y un servidor. Y ahí salió la idea y, y pues ya le metí algo de lo que de lo que me gusta transmitir a ti, a mí, y pues en este caso la chava no tenía para comprar sus, sus medicinas y se le ocurrió que podía pedir dinero con la muñeca como si fuera un bebé y pues las cosas no le salieron como ella quiso, pero vio la oportunidad de ayudar a la persona que le negó el, la ayuda y, y no dudó en, en ayudarla y, y eso le recompensó con lo que ella andaba buscando. Excelente, excelente. Me encantó la historia, me encantó el mensaje. Uh, me encantó el mensaje de la película. Solo necesita una palabra, una persona para poder sobrepasar, para, so para poder sobrevivir. Y cuando miré este, este short film, es lo que graspé, que no, nada más necesitamos una palabra de vida para poder dar vida a alguien que está... Uh, en la oscuridad, ¿me entiendes? Y, y me encanta el mensaje, me encanta uh, lo que estás tratando de decir, porque en mi opinión, en este mundo necesitamos más mensajes así, más mensajes que, que tocan el corazón, que tocan la humanidad, que, que puedan uh, crecer de entre nosotros mismos para poder ayudar a otras personas. Y eso me encantó. Uh, una pregunta más, JC. Uh, ¿Qué, es lo que, ¿Qué tanto es lo que te tardó para poder juntar todos los gráficos, la música, uh, los sound effects, el voiceover? Uh, ¿Qué es lo, lo, lo que te tardaste más o menos? Lo que tomaste el tiempo. Bueno, pues uh, terminamos de filmar uh, ya como a las 6 de la tarde, el sábado, y, y desde como a las 8 que llegué a la computadora, pues no paré a buscar todo hasta el domingo como... A, la, a mediodía creo que terminé de hacer todo. Wow, muy excelente. Me encantó el film, me encantó la historia. JC, ¿en dónde podemos encontrar más de tu trabajo? Uh, bueno, tengo una página oficial, se llama JC Films Website 
o en YouTube estoy como JC Films RGB. En Facebook estoy como JC Films. Instagram estoy como JC Films con dos S al último. Y creo que es todo lo que tengo. Excelente. JC, ¿tienes algo que vas a hacer en el futuro que quieres uh, hablar ahorita o estás trabajando en algo ahorita? Uh, sí, estoy, estoy terminando de escribir un cortometraje que se llama el se llama se me fue el nombre, es que el, el guardia el guardia ah, se llama excelente. ya casi lo termino, ya estoy en la etapa final y es lo que vamos a hacer próximamente excelente y le, le extiendo la invitación a todos y, y me ayuda también si, si en algo les puedo servir I don't know if everybody speaks Spanish I went with the Spanish but I, I send the message to every one of you if you need my Yo help super, sí. te voy a seguir no te, no te conocía, pero voy a seguir en Facebook ahorita. Tengo, no me digas eso porque tengo como ocho años atrás de ti. Luego te digo cómo. <risa> pero, pero sí. Es más, te he visto en la calle, man, manejabas un viro. <risa> no, es un fía. Es un fía. Es un bueno, fía. Pero te miré en una película hace sí, mucho. Y, desde entonces, sí. Bueno, anyway. Pero el que ocupe mi ayuda, if anybody needs my help for collaboration or whatever, I'm available. Thank you, JC. Muy agradecido. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to the next film. Uh, time is running low. Uh, Rush, the director of Rush. Transcend. The director of Transcend, the film Transcend. Over the Fence. Right here Transcend. for Transcend. Transcend. All yeah. right, let's go with Transcend and we'll, we'll follow with Over the Fence. Hello, hello, Joshua Morales. Pleasure to meet you. I absolutely loved your film, Transcend. It's a powerful story. It's a beautiful story. Uh, do you want to tell the audience a little, a briefing, a little briefing of it before we ask the Q&As? Yeah, sure. So this uh, story is focused on a young family that is dealing with the uh, loss of their child. Uh, it's about suicide prevention. We wanted to kind of go after a bold and, and uh, taboo, I, I guess, topic. And uh, we wanted to hit it on head first. You know, it's controversy, but I feel like somebody needs to tell that story. And, and we decided. Fernando's also here. He was uh, the main actor in it. Pleasure to meet you, Fernando, as well. Well, let me just say I absolutely love the story. It was, it definitely made you think, and it definitely made, it was so touching, and it made you think because... There's so many people around, all around us every day. And, you know, based on what your movie touched, we don't know what these people are going through in their everyday lives. You know, so many people, so many losses every day. And like what I had mentioned before, it just takes one word for somebody to get out of that dark spot, for somebody to get out of that grave. And I absolutely love what your movie said. I love the message. I think it's important and crucial. I love that you touched on it. Um, a lot of people need to hear it. And I loved it. Um, I love the realness and feel of this film. Uh, you had mentioned uh, what inspired it, what inspired it. I know you mentioned a little briefing of it, but what was it that said to you, that came to you and said, you know what, this is the message, this is the film, this is what I want to do. And this well, is originally what, I what happened was uh, my wife got COVID, so she was stuck in her room for, for 12 days. And we were out here having a good time watching movies with the kids. And I could feel her like she was in the next room driving her crazy. <laughs> so those 12 days, like it was driving me crazy too. So I, I, I can assume that a lot of families went through that, but we, we were very lucky. Like we didn't lose anybody, nobody got sick. So I, the film kind of revolved around that idea. And then when I met with uh, Fernando, Lauren and, and Robert, the, it just transformed into something that every, everybody that was in this collectively put everything that they had in it. I, I could definitely see that. The acting was touching, the, the song choices was touching, the, the, the scenery, the lighting was definitely told the story. Every distinct uh, feature told the story in this film and I absolutely love that. Um, like I had mentioned before, I love the message behind this film and the help uh, line at the end of the film. I love the help line at the end of the film. Um, that way, you know, I absolutely love that, uh, that you put that there. What was the, uh, I guess, um, what, what I can say was, what creative process or what inspired, let's just go to the acting. The actors, 
how long did it take you guys to bring that scene together? That scene, that film, that that I'll that let, dialogue. I'll let uh, Fernando touch on that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, interestingly enough, when you work with such a great team, uh, great actress, great director, it kind of makes things a lot easier as an actor to portray the character, um, only because as an actor, I feed off the energy of everybody else around me. And if everybody's doing what they love to do and they do it so well, it just transcends into me. And like, I'm able to portray the character a lot better. Um, I don't know. I thought the scene was gonna be a lot harder to do than it was, but because like I said, everybody was so professional and so good, it made it a lot easier for me to do it comfortably. And uh, yeah. Funny enough, it didn't take that many takes. It was just, it just naturally happened, which was incredible. It was, it was very interesting. I absolutely love that. I could definitely story see about, uh, Interesting story about Fernando, man. He, uh, once we start acting, boom, we, we said action. He goes into character. As soon as we're out, he, he's like going somewhere else. As soon as we go back in, it's like, dude, it's like, how do you do that, man? <laughs> well, let me just tell you guys, you guys, Put a good team together. I could definitely see the synchronicities be between each and every individual, from the actors, from behind the scenes. I absolutely loved it, uh, Mr. Joshua Morales. Is there anywhere where people can find your work? Uh, yeah, you can find us on YouTube, uh, Joshua Morales, or our new place, uh, Studio Forty Two Forty. We're going to be producing a lot of content, a lot of positive content, giving back to the world. You know, we want to have our our input in the world, and we want it to be positive. Perfect. Absolutely love that. Uh, if I may ask, can you write that down in the chat? That way the, uh, the live audience can actually go back and, and find you. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you so much, Joshua Morales. I appreciate you. I love the film. Let's go over to the next one. The next one uh, would be Over the Fence. Martin? Yes, right here. Woo yes, All right, Mr. Martin. I absolutely loved your film. Uh, can you give the audience a brief explanation um, of of the creative process behind it or a briefing of it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, well, well, so my team, we've done uh, 48 uh, you know, film races before. And so our focus here was really just to get it done and to make sure uh, to get the best project out um, that we can make. And so uh, I enjoyed how our idea, um, it was so, so simple. You know, the kid just wants his toy back and you know, it was fun thinking of different ways how we can blow that up. You know, what if he tries this? What if he tries this? So um, yeah, it was just a fun process overall. I loved it. I loved it. I actually love the creativity behind it. I love it. It kind of reminded me like a live action Toy Story animation in a sense. You know, it's a it's a distinct film. And I loved it. Like, what 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 helped? What made you come up with that idea? Like, it it was kind of like stop motion ish in a sense. I could. Well, what made you come up with that idea? Uh, I guess like uh, I have a, a you know soft spot for just you know. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, one of my favorite shows as a kid was Rugrats. And in the show, you know, they were like, oh, no, we have to do this. And they would blow it up, you know, this huge adventure. And I just always love that because, you know, everyone, whether you're a kid or you're an adult, you can enjoy that because everyone has, the, you know, an imagination, obviously. So um, I just love adding in the creativity um, in anything that I kind of work on. So, yeah. Beautiful. I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. And I can definitely relate with the Rugrats. That's a good idea. Yeah. I, I love how you expanded on that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you plan on creating more projects, more films, expanding? Yes, definitely. Uh, right now, I'm just a student. So, you know, me and my team, we're just trying to make as much as we can. And uh, we enjoy doing the film races because you know, it's kind of like an exercise. You know, how fast can we, you know, get something to look good? So um, you can find my work at uh, on YouTube. I'll send in the leaks. Uh, but uh, my YouTube channel is now what? And on Instagram, it's just martini90. I'll go ahead and send down the chat, though. Awesome. Thank you so much, Martin. I Thank absolutely you. loved your film. Amazing job. Uh, let's move on to the next one, Rush. The director of Rush, Mia Cifuegos. Okay. Lucha Heartbreak. Happiness. All right. I guess that concludes these, uh, all the directors, all the films uh, that joined us on our live stream. I want to thank the live audience. Thank you so much for giving us your time, for listening to these amazing creators, directors, creators. Uh, I hope you guys learned something from today, and I hope you guys can actually revisit this live stream to 
hear each person's story so that you can obtain and grasp something. Just like Martin said, and each individual member, we grab something from here and grab something from there and make it our own. So I urge and encourage you all, go out there, create, make your films, act, produce, make music, do what makes you happy. And thank you again for joining us at the South Texas 7th Annual International Film Festival. Have a beautiful evening.